spend a little time digging some holes, burying some coins right here along where my test plot is. I want to see how these two detectors work. If you're interested at all, um, the big difference in price, maybe you want to go a little cheaper for a while, maybe the Garrett might be a better deal for you. I don't know, but um, I'm going to set this up. I've got them all buried. They're about three, four inches deep. We'll see whether they can be picked up and see whether any masking works. Both these uh, detectors have uh, pinpointers on them. I thought I'd talk a little bit about it. Either I'm not going to use this pinpointer on this Garrett. It's pretty simple. The pinpointer is down in here. I'll show you how it works a little bit. So if you come out here, and once you get your signal, that's right in here, and basically you hit your pinpointer. And it'll show up like this, it's right on the surface. And then when you're in the center, you're right there. When you're in the center, that's where your signal is. It's right there. Pretty, pretty simple to use. Again, find your signal, hold the pinpointer, come across, get a signal. It'll be the loudest when it's dead center. Okay, we're back here. We're going to do a little bit different, something a little different on this. I'm going to change modes on this gear. I'm going to go to the coin mode, which you can see is a little bit different. And we'll see what we got for detecting that. Penny. Eighty percent. That's an eighty percent uh, Canadian dime. This is a token. Token. I believe we got a. Nothing on here, I won't even pick that one up, which is good. Quarter, maybe. This one might be the quarter, I don't even know what they are. This one's, uh, I believe, the sterling silver. No, this is the nickel. Penny and the sterling silver. I think. So I don't know what that's going to be, but we're going to find out a little bit. Okay, we're going to run one last time. We're going to down the XLT, and we're just going to see what it measures. And we're going to dig these babies back up because I got to have them. Hopefully, I can find them. Uh, and come down in here. Start, preset my program again. I'm gonna leave it basically the same. Uh, I'll come down to coins and jewelry. Up here. First coin. He said it would read like junk. This is a zinc. This is a So I 
think it's right in here. <laughs> well, I know basically where it's at. There it is, right there. There's my zinc. There's my zinc right there. Okay, that's number one. Okay, I'm going on to the second one. in there should be right about in here oh there it is right there just popped it right out this is the Canadian 80% so we got that one that read about right there. Now the next one should be my token. Should be a token. There it is, right there. Moving token. Okay, that's probably 72. It's probably the penny. It is. Weedy. Got some junk there. This is the one that we have masked. Being masked. Right. Okay, so we got a masked, probably the 50 cent piece. There's my junk right there. So it's in here. There it is right there. 50 cent piece. So you get a mass pretty good. Got a couple left. This should be my nickel. Got a couple more left down here too. I, I, one thing I would say is that I'm using a pinpointer on here and that's right here. And that sure beats the heck out of not having if you don't have a regular one. So quarter, 90%. This one should be the Sand and Liberty. It should be right in there. Right there. And we got two left. Sterling Silver and a Penny. There's Sterling Silver right in there.
to find out where it is. There it is. Took a little while. There's my sterling silver right there. Well, that was a little bit more than I wanted to undertake, but I'm just a hobbyist. I only, you know, I, I go out every once in a while. I'm not a serious detector, so I'm still learning an awful lot. But as far as I'm concerned, depending on where I go, I'm looking at pinpointing stuff a little bit better. I'm, and I, I like the, the whites for that particular purpose. And I know when it reads in the 80s and high 70s, I know I've got, you know, pennies, dimes, quarters, whether they be clad or silver, there's not any way to tell the difference in the two. Um, nickels show up as a nickel on the Garrett, and they show up pretty much as a low 30s or something like that on the whites. So I, a lot of people like doing that. If I use the whites, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm listening, and I'm, I'm also then checking the number to see what it is. When I use the Garrett's, I'm basically listening. It's got three different tones. It's got a little higher tone, it's got a little medium tone, and it's got a real low tone. Low tone is basically iron and foil and stuff like that. And the medium tone, um, you know, you might be having a nickel, um, could be some jewelry, it could be a uh, aluminum token, something like that, and a little higher one. But as far as I'm concerned, if you're going out there and you're not having lots of signals and you don't have a lot of trash, check your area out and I'll be digging just about everything that I could dig. Um, I'll talk to you later. This is Lovey signing out. This and that with Lovey. Another little uh, tune on metal detecting and the difference between the Garrett Ace 250 and the White's XLT. 